News Alert now. With all the recent debate about what should or should not be in school libraries, Greenville County School District leaders say they will not have any in-person book fairs this year. Arlie Stevlin explains. The Greenville County School District says the State Board of Education has passed new regulations that have caused the district to change its stance on book fairs. The new regulation, which began on August 1st, requires school districts to ensure teaching materials, books, or other materials presented to students are age appropriate and do not contain sexual content. We want to protect our employees, our teachers, our media specialists, anyone who might uh, be involved in any respect with these book fairs. We want to protect them against accidentally violating the state regulation. We've decided this year just not to have them. Tim Waller with the Greenville County School District says due to a quick turnaround between the regulation and book fair season, they have not had enough time to plan how they would vet every book that comes through the fairs. Leaders say that's why they are pausing book fairs for the school year. When I say pause, that means simply that we plan at some point in the future to go back to having book fairs. We love book fairs. We spoke with other school districts like Spartanburg School District 5. Leaders there say they will continue book fairs this school year despite the new regulation. Greenville County leaders say they are also spending time, money and resources in other areas to comply with the regulation. We've been forced to purchase scanners for each of our schools where they can scan the barcodes on books to create a, a public database because part of the requirement is that Parents anywhere can log into a, a website or a database and see what books are available uh, for their children, along with teaching materials. Leaders say the district has set aside money for every school to have five days of clerical assistance where extra people can come in and help catalog books. In Greenville, Elise Devlin, 7 News. We reached out to the South Carolina Board okay. of Education. Their spokesperson released a statement. Here's a look at it. It says the department commends the district on its vigilance. The SCDE will offer its support for finding vendors that can give schools and families peace of mind that they are providing age appropriate materials to our students.